very difficult to position and control the speed of a pneumatic cylinder. Why? Because air is compressible. So let's figure out what we can do to manage both of those problems. Well, let's talk about the speed first. How do we get nice, even speed? So what we need to do here is we need to limit the flow. So we're gonna use something called a flow control valve. This is a check valve that has a needle valve in parallel. When flowing one way, it'll freely flow across the check valve. When flowing the opposite way, it will hit the check valve and then have to go through the needle valve at a reduced rate. Uh, we call this metering. So there's two configurations that we can use. One is meter out, the other is meter in. Let's start with meter in. We don't wanna do this. What happens is, is we will meter the amount of flow that's coming from our air compressor into the cylinder. By metering in, we're gonna cause problems because friction is not accounted for. So air will come in, it'll compress, build up enough force to overcome the friction, and then expand, and then the pressure drops, and then more air has to come in and we get jumping. Go, dip, 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 dip. However, if we use metering out, we can put a flow control valve coming out of the cylinder at the barrel end, apply full pressure to the rod end, and then we can see that pressure, it'll be large, and then we'll have lesser pressure on the barrel end, but it'll compensate for the friction a lot better. And that allows us to evenly stroke the cylinder as you see here.